Hey everybody, this is Chrissy with Tackling the Giants, and today I'm wanting to do a quick video just of encouragement telling you to remember to love. In Matthew 24, it says, And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. Therefore, we need to make sure that our love doesn't wax cold. We've been warned that this is something that's going to occur in the end. In Matthew 5, Yeshua tells us, I say to you, love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you, that you may be the children of your Father which is in heaven, for he makes his Son to rise on the evil and on the good, and sends rain on the just and the unjust. And in Luke 23, <clears throat> when Yeshua was being crucified, it says, when they came to the place called Calvary, there they crucified him, and the malefactors, one on the right and the other on the left. Then Yeshua said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And they parted his clothing and cast lots. In Genesis 50, um, this is a story of Joseph where his brothers betrayed him and sold him. And he ended up becoming um, uh, underneath the Pharaoh second in command under the Pharaoh, and he was given the role of getting, um, gathering all the grain, being, being over the grain in order to prepare for the seven-year famine. And um, it was, he ended up saving the whole world, including his brothers. And when he revealed himself to his brothers um, who came to him for food, this is what he said. It says, but as for you, you thought evil against me, but God meant it unto good to bring to pass as it is this day to save many people alive. Now, therefore, do not fear. I will nourish you and your little ones. And he comforted them and spoke kindly unto them. Joseph is a picture of Yeshua in many ways. And this is one of the ways where um, we, you know, his, as brothers of Yeshua, um, you know, and sisters, we've all betrayed him. And we've all sinned and we're all guilty of his death. Yet he forgives us and just as Joseph did. And Joseph saved from the physical famine. And Yeshua is saving us right now from the spiritual famine. And, um, you know, in Amos there says that there's going to be a famine of the word of God. And Yeshua gives us that manna, the hidden manna, which is the spiritual word of God and truth. So I just want to encourage you guys and let you know. To continue to love and continue to forgive other people. Sometimes it's really hard, especially if you're treated unkindly or, you know, um, you're just having a bad day sometimes. And we just need that encouragement. So it's good to hear and good to think about. So I hope you have a good day. Thank you.